What is the OnePlus 5? With the OnePlus 3, the Chinese startup finally made a phone that was nearly perfect. There's no OnePlus 4 this year, but instead the OnePlus 5 takes things up another level with a seriously packed spec sheet, and a higher price. The headline feature here is an interesting dual camera setup on the back, but in typical OnePlus fashion there's a serious amount of power and the option of a frankly ridiculous 8GB of RAM. £4.449-$479, the OnePlus 5 is a fantastic deal, but the higher price necessitates a more critical look at some of its shortcomings. There are a few missing features and some odd omissions, but this is still one of the best tech bargains. Update, one of our favorite phones of 2017, the OnePlus 5, is now available in a shiny new color. Like previous OnePlus devices, the 5 can now be picked up in soft gold. Sitting alongside black and slightly less black, or midnight black and slate gray, soft gold is far from blingy and actually looks almost silver in certain light. The gold back is paired with a white front, though it would have been nice for OnePlus to keep this black. OnePlus 5, Design The OnePlus 5 is a really good looking phone, but it's not the most original. The back reminds me of an slightly curvier matte black iPhone 7 Plus, right down to the camera arrangement, the blended antenna lines and even the flash. The front is pretty much the same as those of the outgoing OnePlus 3 and 3T, which is no bad thing, but in a world of the essential phone and LG G6 it feels a bit old-fashioned. Old-fashioned is acceptable in this case, though, because OnePlus has managed to make this phone so comfortable to hold and a pleasure to use. The curved back fits perfectly in your palm, while the 3D Gorilla Glass 5 on the front also curves slightly. This multitude of curves make it super slim, but also easy to fish up from a table. The OnePlus 5 with its 5.5-inch display is a larger phone than the 5.8-inch Samsung Galaxy S8, but it's smaller in all dimensions than the same screen size iPhone 7 Plus. It doesn't feel big, although I have become used to this size of phone now and I can reach all the elements of the screen with one hand. Previous OnePlus devices have felt great for their price, which tended to be below £350, but even though the OnePlus starts at £449 it still feels better built than anything else in that price range. Everything is precisely cut, it feels sturdy and there are really neat touches like the alert slider that sits above the volume rocker. I know this has been a OnePlus staple, but I'm appreciating being able to quickly flip the phone into silent mode when it's still in my pocket more and more. There's a headphone jack and dash charge capable USB-C port on the bottom, along with a microphone and mono speaker, plus a dual nano SIM tray on the side.